Hey cavers, welcome back to the second part, part two of the Star Trek Borg Advent Calendar. Uh, let's get into day 13. There it is, lucky 13, what do we have? These gifts are great. I hope everybody's having a great Boxing Day. That, uh, that box was a little disappointing, but what do we have? Disco, nice, sunglass case. I like this, just the box is a little large for that item. So that's a bit deceiving, but I, I do like this. This is very, uh, it's very nice. Very nice. Eagle Moss, or not Eagle Moss, Hero, Hero Collectors and Eagle Moss. They do, like I said, high quality stuff. They just have really terrible service. I did get the uh, Beatles advent calendar for uh, my mom this year, and wow, that was a great set too. So, so far, I'm digging it. All right, let's get day 14. So some trivia questions. Uh, there was a trivia question that someone gave me uh, the other day, which I answered quite quickly, but let's see if you all can get it. Um, what do these actors have in common? Desmond Llewellyn, Susie Plaxton, John Delancey, Keegan Delancey, Jonathan Franks, Ben Whitshaw. What do they have in common? Answer in the comment section down below. Ooh, a Vulcan Idic keychain. And it's heavy metal. Again, I'm liking this. Uh, I think it's time to replace one of my keychains. I'm going to put this on. It's pretty heavy, so I'm going to have to replace something on my keychain. Because I have a lot of keychains and a lot of heavy keys. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I like this. This is pretty good. Um, yeah. So far, so good. Yeah, I'm liking me likey. And, uh, you know, also put in the, the comment section below what, what you would like to see next on the channel. I'm just curious to see what people would like to see. If it's more advent calendars, different uh, licensing or different reviews, hardware reviews, uh, software reviews, like yeah, old vintage hardware, like, let me know. Um, it's kind of an eclectic channel, so uh, I just want to get uh, everybody's opinion before uh, I do the next big thing, as it were. Again, a big box with a very small item in it, but let's see what we got. Ooh, we have two stickers from the original series. I like these. Didn't need to be in a big box, but... I like. So that's day 15. 13. <laughs> uh, what are we at? Day 16? Something like that? Doesn't matter. It's all. Ooh, this is heavy. It's like really heavy. Oof. What is that? It is a Starfleet Delta paperweight. This is the arrowhead designed for the original Cage pilot episode as my phone just falls over. But there you go. I like that. That's got some serious weight to it. Again, not, no pun intended on that. All right. 17. As I said, I didn't mean this to be an ASMR type episode, but it kind of is turning into one. Another pin? What do we got? What is that? Ben Sisko? This is a Commander Ben Sisko. It's a little upside down, but that's okay. So it's nice to see some DS9 love in here. I hope there's some Lower Decks love in here. That would, that would be... So far we have one from every series except Lower Decks. Yeah. 
And my bet is there probably won't be... I think this set was made last year during the first run of Lower Decks. So that's a little disappointing. But we'll see. I don't know what we have yet. So day 18, giant envelope, some uh, nice artwork postcards. Uh, Where No Man Has Gone Before episode artwork. Enterprise Incident, good episode. Probably one of the few epi good episodes of that season. Um, Errand of Mercy, first appearance of the Klingons. And we have City on the Edge of Forever. Again, this is some great artwork. I'm really happy with that. What's your favorite Star Trek series and why? Lower Decks, Voyager, Prodigy, original series, the animated series. What do we have here? Antique bookmark. I like it. Nice metal bookmark. Very nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Almost at the end, folks. Oop. Oh, that is nice. It is a Starfleet Communicator Travel Pass holder. So your Nexus card or ID, Vax Passport, whatever you have. This is nice. It's a little magnet clip on it. It's pretty good. Oh, that's a nice back. Look at that. <laughs> I like. I'm liking this. There's not one I haven't been disappointed in. The only thing I've been disappointed in is the size of the box for a couple of the items. That's it. I mean, this is giant. This is the second biggest box they have, and it's a little heavy. This is a little commemorative espresso cup for, for, to commemorate the first day humans achieved warp flight from Bozeman, Montana, April 5th, 2063. That is obviously first contact. I'm not even going to ask that trivia question. That's nice. I like that. Do I drink espresso? No. Will I? No. But, you can find other uses for it. That's also, right there, that's about a $20 item. So, you're getting some definite value in here. What is that? Oh, it's a Starfleet pen pencil sharpener. I like that. A little pencil sharpener. I like. I like that logo too. So we have two boxes left, folks. Day 23 and day 24. What's day 23 going to bring us? Feels like another pin. Lots of pins. Ah. This is a Mirror Universe Jonathan Archer. In the classic Kirk Green wrap shirt. And let's get into the last day. Oh, there's 
something big in here. Let's see. Oh, nice. Nice. Where'd it go? Where's the top part? So check this out, folks. Let's pull that tab. Actually, it should be standing up that way. Let's move the camera down a bit so you can see. That's pretty awesome. It's a shadow caster. So, you get some nice little Borg shadows on the wall. That's a great item. Well, that's it for this video. And that's it for advent calendars for this year. So I hope you liked the video. So like that video. Subscribe if you haven't already. So you can be notified of the latest videos. Product in the description down below. Leave a comment down below as well. What you would like to see next. And what you've enjoyed so far. So thank you for watching. Have a Merry Christmas. Have a Happy New Year. And I'll see you in the new year with a uh, Back to the Future review. Until then. Later, Gators.